Hi guys, thanks for tuning in Coastside Family Adventures. Welcome to the Oaks at Point South. We are in South Carolina, our first time here. We got to put a new sticker on the RV. In fact, we got to put on North and South Carolina because we had to drive through North Carolina from Tennessee to get here. You see the registration and I think that might be the lodge. We're gonna go see. And this is not a very big park, but it seems to be very popular. It's very quiet and it's only 45 minutes from Savannah. So we are pretty stoked to be here for a few days. Okay, so the clubhouse is open if you wear your mask. They do have books and puzzles in here. Uh, they do have a pool table, which is covered right now, so probably because of coronavirus you can't use it. Uh, there is a seating area with a TV, and that's it for the clubhouse. Okay, so this is so cute. Here to the right is the pool. And since it, since it is winter, the pool is closed. It is uh, March 17th today, St. Patrick's Day. There's the pool waiting to be open for the season. And then there's also actually a pretty good sized dog run here. That's nice. Good size with bags. Lots of nature around here. Ow, Daniel's pinching me. You already did pinch me. <laughs> they have some bathrooms here in the office area. And then there's the laundry. We'll go check out the laundry room because I actually have a lot of laundry to do. Hoping to get that all done today. Very small, but definitely clean laundry mat. And this one, um, the washer will be 175 unless you do the heavy, which I just had to do for all, all of our towels, and that was 225 You can use quarters, or you can download the app for the CSC. And the dryers are 25 cents for five minutes. I guess and I can't really see what it takes to get it started because they are going right now so I'm not sure but yeah nice and the Sun came out too awesome They sell this um, firewood here and I actually have never seen this wrapped with like a little handle. That's pretty cool. Oh, so yeah, seven bucks a bundle for the firewood and you can actually have fires at your campsite. This RV park is definitely like in the midst of a lot of things to do, but surrounded by nature. And in fact, the boys walked down yesterday and said there was a lake. So we'll go check that out too. So all around this RV park is just total like trees and I can hear lots of birds. Um, just have to see if there's any trails in there. On this side here, I don't see a lot of trails. So I wouldn't venture in there, but I think down there is a trail. Okay, so I just found the first trail here. It doesn't even look like a trail from here, but I saw this bridge down there in the woods. So we're just kind of making our way down there. All right, so I see that that is the actual trail here. And we just kind of took a shortcut. I guess people started walking that way to get to this trail here. And then there is the bridge. 
I don't know much about South Carolina. We really don't know if there's alligators here, creepy crawlers. What do you think, Daniel? <laughs> oh, a very, oh boy. Wouldn't say that's the most stable bridge. But it does go over this weird looking creek or river here. I bet you they have a lot of bugs here in the summertime. Yeah. Okay, that's nice. Oh, look, somebody painted rocks and left them here. Oh, wait, what, what do they say? They say faith. Faith? Yep. But well, why? Believe in yourself. Okay, so I don't know if this actually keeps going here. It kind of does, but it isn't a, like, really established trail. I don't think it keeps going, Daniel. This is it. See? That's it. So this is it. It's just a little bridge with a little bench and kids seem to be building a fort here. Little pretend fireplace. I bet you the kids play back here, Daniel. Now we're walking back the trail here. And this is a really nice, peaceful nature trail. You can hear some traffic, but I mean, obviously that's not a big deal. Lots of birds chirping here. And I already see our RV down there. And following the trail, so we came from here all along the RV park. Just a little bit down the road here, there's the lake that the kids found yesterday. <laughs> oh, wait, here's another one, okay? I don't think uh, Daniel has ever seen a blooming lake. Yep. He thought it was frozen. It looks like it's frozen green, but oh, I hear Christian. <laughs> There's Christian coming with Jesse. <laughs> um, so I, I have no idea if this is year round or if it's just in the spring or it is winter <laughs> still, but this lake does not look like it's for swimming. It's definitely, oh, I, I see this lake keeps going and then it gets really beautiful and big right there. Look at this. So I, I can do some more research here and see if people actually fish here, swim here, kayak here. Not sure. Here's that creek that we walked along. And then look there, the green stuff, it just kind of stopped. And then it does look very, very pretty. Gosh, this is a great hike, guys. I mean, it isn't like a hike with elevation, but just a walk to take your dog here. An awesome, peaceful walk. At least a mile. I don't know how far this goes, but I, it's, I think it actually goes around the lake because see the trail goes this way, and then it, I can see it on the other side there too. So I think that is a walk that goes around the lake. Pretty awesome. Wow, guys, I don't know if you see this, but there's this bright red bird. And I spotted them. You spotted it, Daniel. It's beautiful. I'm gonna try to zoom in on it for you guys, but... Wow, yeah, that's, that's the one. Oh yeah? Oh, it's gone. It went over there. We're making our way around the lake because this is just such a freaking awesome trail. And I'm thinking this is the perfect fishing spot. Now, if they allow fishing here, that might be a good spot to bring a... Is that an alligator over there? <laughs> to bring a fishing pole down here. I don't know. It's not moving. Yeah, it is. It's not moving. I see it moving. It is definitely not moving. Oh my god, guys. That is actually a freaking crocodile. Oh my god. 
what the heck? Can we please go? <laughs> Christian is freaking out. No, I want to leave. Oh my god, guys, I cannot even believe this. Mom, they're so fast. Come on. Wow. <laughs> Christian wants to get back to the RV and celebrate. <laughs> oh my god, this is pretty crazy. We're just walking here. There's a crocodile looking at us like It wasn't looking at you, yeah, Christian. It at us. <laughs> if it had looked at you, it probably would have turned around and left. <laughs> Jesse was off the leash. Oh my god. So definitely we are on a learning curve here. Um, <laughs> don't let the kids go into the woods by the swamp by themselves. What we did yesterday, and they wanted to touch the water. Oh my god, Daniel. Oh, that was going to be crocodile in there! That is pretty crazy. Definitely interesting for and sure. We were talking about crocodiles like a minute before. Yeah. I do not want to go swimming with crocodiles. <laughs> the next time I go there. Okay, we made it back here to the RV park. There is a bathhouse right there. And I believe that might be the only bathhouse that I have seen. Oh, there is a place here for dog bags. But there are no dog bags in there. And I think that's it for this RV park. Very quiet. You can see a lot of people, not a lot of space in between the RVs, but still just really quiet and I like it. I mean, I have to say, it's a, actually a very peaceful RV park. Tomorrow we're going to hit Savannah and I'm very excited about that. And that's it. Thank you so much for tuning in. And when we get back, I'm going to... I'm running to dad and giving him a very <laughs> I'm so that I'm so alive. You made it. You made it alive. <laughs> South Carolina. Little higher, little higher. Christian, will you help him? Yeah. I, know, okay. I think, okay. yeah, you hold that side. That's good. That's good. <laughs> nice. All right. Thank you for tuning in, guys. Coastside Family Adventures. Bye. Bye.